Hey everybody, welcome back to BeamNG Drive and the teaser of a revamped, rebooted uh, Tough Car Challenge series. So, Season 3 was a disaster. It was a disaster in the making, and it might not have looked like it, but in the be behind the scenes, it was bad. What was I thinking? Thinking that three tracks, three episodes per vehicle was a great idea. It might have been a good idea, you know, think, like, oh yeah, plenty of content. Three different tracks. You see these ve the vehicles are going to perform differently on each tracks, track depending on their strengths and weaknesses. It sounds great. But it ended up becoming daunting very quickly. I lost interest and then tried to push through and it ended up burning me out on BMNG and the Tough Car Challenge in general. But... I wanted to bring it back. It's an it's an old series. It's kind of near and dear to my heart, and I think that this is the correct way to do it. So essentially, seasons one, two, and three are being pushed to the side. This is not going to be a restart of season three. This is not going to be even a season four. This is a renewed uh, tough car challenge. So this is season one of the second generation Tough Car Challenge, if you will. Uh, it is going to be paying homage to those because those series, because obviously we are at the Rally Cross track on the industrial map, which is where all three seasons had had a round. What seasons one, two, the main round was here. Season three, the final round was here. Uh, In regards to other pieces and parts, the rules, most of them are actually going to be a carryover from Season 2 because I feel the rules with Season 2 were pretty on point. The one thing that I am going to be adding is that if a vehicle can have safety equipment installed, it will. So if you see our Gavril D10 here, it has actually a full-fitted roll cage. You can see the roll bars in the back. You can't really see the roll bars here going around the, the main part of the cab but you do see the racing seat for the driver and then the passenger and rear seats were removed it's for a touch of realism yes i know it's a game yes i know it's not super realistic to be driving around a rally cross course in let's say a mid-sized japanese sedan with collapsed suspension on one corner from going over a jump and landing a little off but you know what? I'm, I'm going to try to put some realism in when it makes sense and, and still take the liberties where they come. Because, hey, it's all, in the, it's all for good entertainment of you guys. So, the rules changes are going to be pretty much as follows. The inspection that I would do every third lap, that's gone. Um... Will an inspection occur? Yes, under certain circumstances. Obviously, vehicle disablement makes sense because that means the challenge is over for that vehicle. Uh, after it has rolled over and needs to be put back on its wheels, I think that kind of makes sense. I mean, we're out of the vehicle anyway. Let's go ahead and give it a quick inspection. And the last one is after a major accident. So, definition of a major accident, I caused major damage to this vehicle. Not, oh no, I went over... Uh, this hump over here bicycled it and came back down but it bent part of the frame or something now nah, that's not a major accident oh no i hit the start finish line stand and bent the crap out of everything that's a major accident let's take a look at it it pretty simple and it makes sense um Let's see, the safety equipment, the inspection thing. Um, there's one more change. And with that, we actually got to do a little bit of a context change here. So we're I have already a recorded, a uh, replay of me taking the D10 out for two laps. 
of the ch the Tough Car Challenge test track. Lap one will be the season two layout. Lap two will be the season one layout. I got him in reverse backwards. I was going to do first one was one, second one was two, but I got him backwards. Oops, it happens. So we're going to go ahead and go over to that. I'm going to pull that up here and we're going to talk about that a little more. Okay, so we are now in the quote-unquote replay mode. And then one of the things I will also I'll point out first is if you look in the top left, you see a really cool HUD that is kind of reminds you of something from American or Euro Truck Simulator. The link to it will be in the description. And it's nice. I have speed. It, gearing doesn't quite work right for automatics because this is an automatic uh, truck. And overall vehicle damage, which... It is useful, I think. I don't I don't really see a point in it. You have your fuel level right next to it, as well as your current uh, engine coolant temperature. Then in this first uh, tab, you have your, excuse me, your oil temperature. And then below that, it, it, a little bit more information on the vehicle's fuel levels. Cool information. I kind of like it. Uh, and it's going to take place of the engine uh or the engine and vehicle damage indicators because unfortunately with replay mode those just don't work or at least they don't work right now maybe down the road uh the bmng devs will get it to work i don't think that's high on their list honestly uh i think they just need to keep cranking out the kick the kick-ass uh cars and map re map uh maps and revamps of current cars and maps and just adding new and cool features. I mean, making the replay system work with some of these apps, eh, that's honestly not high on the priority list, even in, in my opinion. Um, but the coolest thing about the replay is instead of having to do that inspection every three laps, you guys get to watch what happens. Like, here we go over that jump. If I wouldn't have slowed down, that could have been really bad but again it's power sliding it around the corners i'm trying to drift the truck i, I i'm ripping the e-brake trying to get it to to slide not really working i take that corner wrong bounce it up and here we go spin the truck out good job there's an example of one of the weird extra uh quote unquote external cameras that just puts you in the back of the truck but we're able to turn the truck around keep going and all is well so I'm excited to for this. This should be really good. And yeah, I think this is going to be a uh, really exciting turn for the Tough Car Challenge series by doing this system, it, it, using BeamNG's replay system. This should be pretty uh, awesome. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and watch the truck finish up the lap, which it's almost done with its second lap, and we're just going to pop back into the game to wrap up the video. Yeah, so in all, all in all, I think this is pretty cool. I think this is the correct direction to go with it. And sorry, I'm kind of being more of a talking head or like a, or in this case, a talking car because, well, you're not actually looking at me. You're looking at this Cavro B10. But anyway, um, I appreciate everybody for watching the videos. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying some of the, the, uh, police chase stuff and the shenanigans with the guys, because especially the shenanigans with the guys is always fun. Those, those are so much, that is so much fun. Uh, anyway, that's honestly it for this, this, uh, video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, please like, please subscribe, all that fun stuff, and have a good one, everyone.